Isn't this super cool? I love playing with Lego. Hello, happy people. Here we have the fifth iteration now of Hagrid's Hut. It's called Hagrid's Hut, An Unexpected Visit. It is 896 pieces and it will run you 74.99 USD. Thank you so much to the Lego group for sending me this set over for review. While you're here, please hit that thumbs up button. It would greatly help my channel. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Again, it's called An Unexpected Visit, which means it's supposed to depict the scene where Draco is sneaking up on the gang when they go visit Hagrid and he tells them about Norbert. While I don't have all of the previous versions of Hagrid's Hut, I do have the latest version, which came out in 2019, and I will compare the two a bit later. Included in the set are five minifigures. Hagrid in what I believe is a new body mold. I checked the Brickling catalog, couldn't find it, but it's him wearing his apron. We have Harry Potter in a green sweater, which I also believe is a new look for Harry, possibly a new torso. I checked the Brickling catalog, couldn't find it. Feel free to chime in the comments if that's wrong. And he has a second face as well. Hermione up next in a dark blue cardigan over a blue sweater. This also looks like a new torso to me. And she has a second face print. Ron Weasley also with it looks like a new look in this blue striped sweater. And he has a second face print. All new torsos here for these four minifigures. What's going on? Is this normal? We also, I kind of forgot, have this Draco Malfoy minifigure. He's not really anything special. It's the same torso with his Slytherin robes we have seen previously in the Slytherin banner set, the Hogsmaid Station, Diagon Alley, and First Flying Lesson. And here's his second face print with an angry face. Now for the creatures, we get a fang dog. I don't think we have ever had a dog. Correct me if I'm wrong. I looked at all of the previous sets with Hagrid in them. I never saw that there was a dog that was supposed to be fang. Now in the books, fang is supposed to be a boar hound, which is like a great Dane. I think it's what they used to call them back in the day. But in the movies, he was some form of mastiff. And I actually think it does a really good job of looking like a mastiff. Here's a comparison in size from fang to the dog that just came out in the recent minifigure of the dog grooming lady. And lastly, this set comes with an updated baby dragon. This is Norbert. He has eyes. He's standing in this sort of perch-like position. I think it's the most adorable thing ever. And I am not going to lie, I'm probably going to want a lot more of these little baby dragons. Now let's get into the actual build itself. This set did have four stickers. I don't even remember where the stickers went, but I'll bet you they went inside the hut for like details and stuff because I don't see any stickered parts on the outside. A really precious detail in the instruction book, you know how sometimes it'll guide you to how far along in the build process you are. It's actually Fang doing the tracking. It's really adorable. And speaking of Fang, again, is he the star of the show or something? He gets his own little dog house. So I'm actually curious right now, you know how we always see Hagrid's hut and it has like a smaller portion of it? Is that smaller portion that's attached to the hut Fang's little dog house? Because I thought it was just like an extension of Hagrid's hut. Fang does get his own little dog house. There's not a lot to say here. Sand green, gray. It looks like a doggy house in the shape of Hagrid's hut. Now for the hut itself. This is really really the best and in my opinion most accurate looking Lego Hagrid's hut we have had. It's the most hut looking of all Hagrid's huts. While the roof does have some repetitive techniques, I think there was enough variation that made the build a lot of fun in comparison to the previous roof, which we'll get into later. I think in general it's probably difficult to avoid repetition when you're making a spherical shape out of Lego. This build technique here was actually so much more complex. If you look closely there's actually two different build styles. It's not just like panel and then panel and then panel and then panel. I love the use of the different greens. We get a dark green, a sand green, and I forget what this green is called, like a mossy colored green, but it's like more yellow. I just cannot get over the shape of the roof. It looks really cool. I wish that this fireplace had actually used masonry bricks. It doesn't really take away from the look in my opinion. So the roof of the hut does come up pretty easily if you grab it from both sides. It's really only sitting on four little studs here. And as you can see, it closes up. I know at least in the previous Hagrid's hut, it was like open back for like play. So what I really enjoy about this is that it closes up, but you can still open it up for play. I just really think they outdid themselves with this Hagrid's hut. When you close it back up together, you'll notice there are two studs here in the middle. I do really appreciate that feature because that means that you can move it around and they won't just swing open. Here you can see sort of the internal structure of the top part. It's just insane and really cool looking. Now for the inside of Hagrid's hut, on one corner we have a chair. And yes, this is exactly where I told you that we have the stickers. Now, similar to the Allery set. This set has two collectible tiles. I got this guy over here and for some reason they made me put the second one like hidden inside the shelves. I'll probably take it out and put them separately somewhere else. We have Hagrid's like reclining chair over here. This chair on its own was a pretty cool technique because it allows for like the leg part of it to go up. So like fully reclines. Literally if Hagrid wanted to nap here you could just put him there. There is his umbrella hanging out by the front door and then a dining table with some seats in a kitchen area. I 
almost would have liked for this part to be just a little bit bigger so that we could do more inside. But the thing is that you quite literally can fit all of the minifigures inside the house. Well, all the figures that matter because obviously Draco was never actually inside. You can put Norbert in here. I just noticed that on the dining table is Norbert's little like cracked egg. So you can sit Norbert in there, Bang standing in a corner, Hagrid laying on his recliner. You can literally fit all of them in here with the hut closed. Isn't this super cool? I love playing with Lego. Here's a detail of the outside of the hut. Again, I would have liked to see some masonry brick usage. That's about my only complaint regarding the outside. Now, if you take a closer look at the foliage outside, we have an existing element in a new color. Yes, all the rage with the sets that have come out in January, February, and now March is this new red orange color. And I love how it looks in this leaf element. And you can compare it here with the pumpkins that are actual orange and then the red mushrooms that are actual red. So that's the in-between, red orange. Oh my God, you know, and I also just noticed this tree stump. So you can put like Draco on it as if he's looking inside the window. Oh my God, the fact that I just realized that you can do that. Oh my God, as if I couldn't love this set more. Which brings me to the next part of my review. I wanted to compare it to the 2019 version of Hagrid's Hut. So let me go grab that. This is this year's Hagrid's Hut. This is Hagrid's Hut from 2019. This is our fifth Hagrid's Hut. We have had four previous ones. This is the fourth one. I would argue that the first three, we don't even need to talk about them. They are so old and outdated and nothing to the designers. It's just the way that Lego has evolved over time with more colors, more pieces, more elements and things like that. But since the first Hagrid's Hut, they have become increasingly bigger. The 2001 OG version had 288 pieces. The 2004 version had 295 pieces. The 2010 version had 427 pieces. And this 2019 Hagrid's Hut has 496 pieces. Clearly for today's purposes, I'm only using this one because it's the only one I have. But also, as I said, first three are, you know, can pretend they don't exist. This version retailed for $47.99 at almost 500 pieces. This new one here has 400 more pieces with a price difference of $27. Now, one thing that's interesting to me is how much this previous one felt like a larger build to me. But I think part of that is because they left the backside open for play. As you can see, you can like comfortably sit the minifigures here. Whereas if you try sitting them actually on the chairs in this hut, it's pretty cramped in the space inside. And see, this is what I was talking about where there's like that extra part of the hut that is like a room. This Hagrid's hut obviously doesn't have that but it has Fang's house. And just for funsies, I went ahead and brought out this Funko Pop Town of Hagrid's Hut that came with a super adorable Fang. And this looks closer to this Hagrid's hut, doesn't it? Seeing this little ax and tree stump here kind of makes me want to add one there too. All this to say, there's things to appreciate in both sets, but my favorite here is actually the new one. I cannot get over the texture of the roof. In comparison to this one, I can see that they were trying. And honestly, I do think that both techniques have their purposes and don't think that one is worse than the other. This technique works very well for when the back of the build is open, but because this was something meant to be enclosed, it had to be removable, it had to be fuller, on the inside, etc. I did almost forget that there's a light up brick in the 2019 version. So like there's a dragon egg in the fire and you can like turn a light on it. There is no light function over here, but also why is there an egg over here? I don't think there was no egg in Buckbeak's rescue. Really quick, I can take you around the interior of the previous one. As you can see the inside of that 2019 version versus the interior of an unexpected visit. I'm curious to know which one of these two you like better. If you're gonna be picking up this new one, especially since this one retired in 2021 and can be difficult to find. All in all at $75, five minifigures, four of which look like they're exclusive to this set and a new baby Norbert and a Fang the dog. I do think that this set has a lot of value. I can see people waiting on a good sale on this one and I'm sure it's gonna be around for a while just like this 2019 one was around for two years. However, if you missed out on that one, this is going to be perfect. Thanks again for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. It greatly helps my channel. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here.